Hey guys, wanted to show you something quite cool that I built uh, today. Uh, new campaign on Apollo uh, for AI outreach. And the campaign, the campaign here, uh, you can see it on my screen. It says, has your company tried AI video outreach to get more leads? See this example that I made for you, right? So the example, the link is this. And in that case, Daniel and his company. So yeah, it's literally scrolling on their website and saying, hey, Daniel, instead of first name at scale. So that's pretty impressive with my voice, right? So there's an AI uh, clone function here. And yeah, it's pretty neat because I'm going to send that at scale and people uh, have access to my Calendly here. They can book a meeting. Uh, they can, they, there's a book, a call uh, to action. By the way, I'm also filming this video uh, with SandSpark. So it's sort of a, a Vidyard competitor. I was using Vidyard, but wasn't satisfied. Vidyard is also getting into AI outreach, but it's pretty unimpressive. Uh, their team gave me a nice demo. Uh, so shout out to them, shows that they're more flexible. And yeah, so far so good. Uh, the technology is working. Uh, you might see a little bug here, like with a space, but I think that's on my end. So I'll, I'll correct that. But it's pretty neat altogether when you think about it. You know, you can uh, scale these campaigns, uh, these AI videos. I think that's also the future of sales. I had it on my pipeline and I succeeded uh, testing that today in a couple of minutes. Um, so the campaigns looks like this. And let's see here. I first took a random uh, contact list on Apollo. In that case, it's uh, BPOs, so business um, processes center or uh, <laughs> business processing operation or whatever. Like, what is it again? Business process optimization or outsourcing. Yeah, they're basically companies in the Philippines for example, in which you can hire more customer uh, service agents and so forth. Um, so yeah, I had that list because a client required it today. So I was like, okay, why not use that one? 1.2K list, perfect number, CEOs and uh, co-founders. Uh, what I did, I exported that list, right? I downloaded it. So to export here. Uh, then I went to a tool. I went in dynamic video section that you can find here. I clicked create, uh, created a dynamic video here. I uploaded the, the full list and I put my criteria. You can select the template here. So that was the one I was using. Just want to make sure it looks good. And yeah, once all the options are there, you either record a video. Um, and instead of, hey, uh, Charles, or hey, Dare, or hey, first name, you say, hey, watermelon. And by saying, hey, watermelon, that's how they know that the voice, uh, that, that's where they, they need to put the first name of the person, right? Uh, once you're done uploading, so in my case, I use, let's say, this video here. Take voice cloning there. Just going to close the zoom here. That will increase the bandwidth. Um, and yeah, like once you upload it there, hey, watermelon, uh, I can use AI outreach to generate you more leads. I'd love to share you my system. My video was very short, you know. Um, I imported the full CSV that I exported on Apollo, right? I clicked uh, the fields. So there's a couple here. There's the title. There's a company. Uh, let's see. There's the email and the website. So I control F and it's background URL. And up the data, right? And I won't do it here because it'll consume more credits and I'm already out of them. The team will graciously give me more soon. But it uploaded the thing and the result of that was this year. I think I did it twice. Um, let's go back here. Edit. 
just want to show you that yeah the full videos are the the full list is there right so then i click generate videos and next thing i knew i had um the full uh, examples of videos i think it's on that one here I think we need to give it time to load because it's it's quite uh, heavy. Oh, I also put my LinkedIn here. They required me to uh, put some cookie thing. Uh, the end result, guys, is basically me going and uh, in Apollo, like I had to modify the uh, custom tag thing. So let's see here. Uh, the custom tag. So for the, the custom tag, I had to go to um, custom. And I got in contact. I got in custom fields. And I never know which one is the right one. Is it contact or accounts? Probably contact, contact level, right? And I put... Uh, send Spark GIF link because they have a GIF and Send Spark video link. The GIF I didn't end up using yet because it's not popping in my cold email and I don't want to send a mess at scale. I did use this one though. So uh, I put Send Spark video link here. I put uh, unlimited uh, text length and I press saved. And in my outreach campaigns here, the campaign but you put link, links in the first email i'm a pro do not do this at home i'm sending a, a boatload of email plus i'm quite good at deliverability so i can allow to start an email with that and get nice open rates which i would estimate in that case to be 30 to 40 percent um i would recommend this as a follow-up not as a first email so as a, I highlighted this here and I clicked uh, insert link, right? And once I clicked insert link, I just put the, the tag here um, like this. So never forget the two little tags here and I press save, right? And the result of that, as I've shown you at the beginning, uh, to see the results of custom tag, you cannot go in, in active, you won't see it uh, in the preview what it actually looks like, even if you uh, tag the. Yeah, it won't work. Um, the, the preview will not, not work. So what you need to do is to see like the end results of that campaign, you go in email and you choose anyone, Gabriel, and you see Gabriel's link. It's a send spark link, right? Big. And when you check, it looks like here, well, we have Gabriel. By the way, I know these guys. <laughs> um, they bought something for me, actually. They bought the course, and they're, they're, gonna, they're about to buy my services. So, yeah, let's see what they think of that approach. Um, prediction on that. That's going fad, you know, under gizmo. But I think some people are going to find it cool. The hackers, the, the sales hackers, you know, the growth hackers, they're going to find it pretty cool. They want to know, they'll want to know how I uh, made this. I'm going to send them that video. And yeah, uh, by the way, uh, shout out to SenseBark because yeah, I'm going to get from them. I have an affiliate. Um, contract with them and uh yeah they're they're pretty cool people uh, so far so good you know very responsive very cool team uh pretty sure they're gonna listen to the product feedback i'm gonna give them as well so uh yeah i'm gonna get paid every client that i send them so it's pretty fun guys uh this affiliate thing so if you're not onto the affiliate bandwagon get on it all the best companies are on it and I think the future of sales or uh, it, B2B influencers like myself, quote unquote, oh, Mr. Important, um, is going to be that I'm going to use tools that of people that are going to learn me with the best conditions, right? AKA people are going to pay me 
uh, to promote their their stuff. So yeah, these guys are are pretty dope. I spoke with a couple of their employees and they're cool. Um, so before the outcome of the campaign, fifty percent one buy rate. Uh, some feedback about it. It is gonna be lower, but yeah, it's. I think people are gonna convert a bit more. And in my case, I sell outreach, right? So I sell. I could sell that very product as a service to them. Most would not. Most like common mortals, uh, no code common mortals wouldn't be able to go through um, the steps that I did today. So I'm gonna hack it for them. What did you guys uh, think about that? Uh, what do you guys think about AI video marketing? It's uh, one of the biggest trends this year, AI video marketing, other than uh, highly personalized emails and hyper-targeting. I want to learn more about what you think.